Black Friday is coming and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to massively speed up your discounting process by showing you how to quickly create and apply discounts to certain products, collections, or your entire Shopify store. I'm also going to show you how to add this countdown timer. This will add a sense of urgency and move your visitors towards a purchase. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now, let's get into the video. The app I'm using to complete this is Bold Discounts The Sale app. Click Add App, Install App, and then we get here. This app has a 14 day free trial. If you don't wanna be charged for it, just cancel before your trial ends. So if you wanna use this for Black Friday free of charge, I would suggest saving this video and then wait and get this set up a few days prior to when your sale starts. When you're ready to begin your free trial, click approve. Now we get here. In order to get this set up, we have two options. We can do it ourselves, which requires inserting pieces of code into our theme files, or we can hire someone from the Bold Discount Support team to do it for us. This costs about $20. I'm gonna save you the $20 and walk you through everything step by step so that you can do it yourself, but if you absolutely do not wanna mess around with the coding yourself, the option is there to hire them. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is install the sales clock. Now, one quick note before we jump in, the directions I'm following and demonstrating are for Shopify 2.0 themes, so any of Shopify's free themes are paid that have 2.0 capabilities. If you have a vintage theme, the instructions would be different for you. You can follow their vintage theme instructions instead. The very first step and the most crucial one is to duplicate your theme. This way, if you make a mistake, you can always revert back to your old theme. To do this, click the three dots under your theme, then click duplicate. By the way, this Black Friday theme is an upcoming video. I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate this exact design using Shopify's free theme ride. So keep an eye out for that video soon. Once your theme has been duplicated, it should say copy of before the title. Under that theme, click the three dots and click edit code. The instructions say to look under snippets for a file named this. If you don't have it, click add new snippet. For the file name, type the following text. Then click Done. Then you're going to copy this section of code. I'll put the link in our description box to this page where you can copy these codes yourself. Then what you want to do is paste it in the snippet you just created and click Save. Next, look under Sections and find Main Product.liquid. Then you're going to copy this line of code. Again, the link to this page is in the description box. And then you'll go back to your file and scroll down to line 334. The number might be different depending on which theme you're using, but you're looking for this piece of code. Then what you want to do is paste the piece of code you just copied directly underneath it. Then click Save. That's all the code for the sales clock. Now we're going to do the code for the sales icon. Look under snippets for this file name. If you don't see it, click add new snippet, name your snippet this, and click done. Copy this piece of code and paste it into the snippet you just created. Then click save. Now click add new snippet again and name this one this. Then copy this piece of code, paste it, and click save. Open mainproduct.liquid. You should still have this file open, but if you don't, you can find it under sections. Then what you want to do is find this piece of code. If you're using the ride theme, it's on line 800. And then paste the code directly below it. And click save. Next, what you want to do is find this file name under sections. Find this piece of code. It's on line 109 for me. Then copy this piece of code, paste it right underneath, and click Save. Next, look under Snippets and find card product.liquid. Find this piece of code. For me, it's on line 52. Then copy this piece of code, paste it directly underneath, and click Save. This is the last part, you guys. Open the Bold Discount app, click Dismiss Helper, 
and click Accept and Continue. Then click on Sales icon, scroll down near the bottom of the page, then copy this piece of code, paste it here, and then this piece of code, and paste it here. Then click Save. Congratulations, you guys. That was the hardest part. Now we get to move on to the fun part of customizing how we want it to look. From the same sales icon, you can select whichever sales badge you want. Now just a heads up, if you select one and go to your store to view it, it won't show up yet because it only works on discounts created through this app. So if you have products on sale that you discounted through Shopify, the badge won't show. We first have to create a discount through the app, which I'll show you shortly. If you click the sales clock tab, you can choose how you want your text to appear. If you scroll down further, you can adjust the appearance of the countdown. A lot of the options can be selected here, such as your font color or border color, but I wanted to add some changes that weren't options, so I added my own custom coding. I changed my text to uppercase, changed my border from a solid line to a dashed line, and made my font bold. So if you want yours to look like mine, copy my settings. Now just a heads up, if you view your theme and your changes aren't showing, try clearing your browser catch. I had this issue myself where I would change the colors and I'd refresh over and over again and it wouldn't update my changes, but once I started clearing my catch, my changes showed. Now it's time to create our Black Friday discounts. Click Current Discounts and click this link to create your first discount. For the discount name, I'd suggest naming it something obvious like 25% off. This way when you create multiple discounts, you can know which discounts are which at a glance. Then enter your discount percentage, which in this case is 25. You can also do dollar amounts if you prefer instead of percentages. Then click select products so we can choose which products to apply it to. With this app, you can apply the discount to entire collections, product types, vendors, even your entire store, or you can select products manually like I'm doing. Next, we want to click Enable Date Range. This is going to allow us to set our discount to start the minute Black Friday starts on November 25th and end just before the clock strikes for the next day. This is based on a 24-hour clock. They've written examples at the bottom here and tell you exactly what to type for a sale that goes from midnight to midnight. Once you are done, scroll down to the bottom and click Create. Our first discount is complete. Now let's set up one more. This one is going to be a 50% off discount. Enter 50 here. Click Select Products. And this time I'm going to apply the discount to all of the products in the Toys and Games collection. Click Search. Then select All Results. Then I'm going to enable date range and set this up for Black Friday. Once you are done, scroll down and click Create. You don't need to turn the discounts on for this to work. In fact, if you do make the offers active, it will make those discounts active immediately. So leave that to the app. They will activate the discount as soon as Black Friday starts. It will automatically activate when the start date and time you set happens. And here's the finished product. Remember to keep an eye out for our next video where we will show you how to create this Black Friday theme using Shopify's free theme ride. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos. 